is it okay to be openly part of the LGBTQ community on board. Hey sailors, welcome back to Cruising as Crew. My name is Lucy and today we're gonna to be talking about the LGBTQ community and how you are gonna be accepted if you are part of that community and working on board a cruise ship. But before we start, please press like and subscribe for more cruise ship content. And as always, if you have any questions or video suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below or you can DM me over on Instagram at Cruising as Crew and I will be sure to get back to you. But as for now, let's get into this video. So I've had a few of you message me, whether you're gay, lesbian, transgender, just basically asking, is it okay to be open about this when I am on board a cruise ship? Because maybe you're in the closet at home, or you just don't know how people are going to react to you being part of the community on board a cruise ship, which is completely valid. Well, I'm here to tell you that you will absolutely not have a problem. And I know that can be quite surprising because obviously on a cruise ship, there are so many different types of people, different religions, nationalities, with different views on life that you kind of think it's probably not gonna be the most accepting environment. But actually, I think because everyone is so different, it breeds this commonality of acceptance. The only advice that I would give is don't lead with it. Just because you open yourself up to criticism. For example, if I introduced myself and said, hi, I'm Lucy, I'm a really hard worker, you would then unconsciously keep an eye on my work ethic to see if the reality matched up with my belief. I haven't asked you to keep an eye on my work ethic, but I basically said, it's okay for you to judge me on that because that's what I introduced myself as. So to make sure that you don't open yourself up to any criticism, just don't, you know, come straight out with it. If people ask you if you're gay, trans, lesbian, then of course you can tell them, but it really isn't information that you need to lead with because if you lead with it, you're unconsciously telling people that it is okay for them to judge you on that aspect. And the only problem I can see arising is if you have a cabin mate who isn't ultra comfortable with you being gay, lesbian, trans. But as I've just said, if you don't lead with it, then it shouldn't, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, they don't, they don't need to know. You know, you don't have to tell people this information. Like I said, if they ask, then you can tell them. But it isn't something that you need to state. And I have met a lot of people who feel that they do need to state it. You know, they introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Dave. I'm gay. I'm like, great. Like it's great, you know, but. It's of no interest to me. What's of interest to me is, are you a nice person? Do you work hard? Have you got a good sense of humor? Are you reliable? Your um, sexual preference or your gender is just so low on the list. Well, it isn't even on the list of qualifications you need to be friends with me or anyone else. So just don't lead with the information because you then open yourself up to criticism. If you are in the closet at home, when you come aboard, you can come out of the closet. I've known loads of people who aren't gay at home and they are gay on board the cruise ship. Maybe the area they're from isn't that accepting of homosexuals or their family aren't, whereas the ship is kind of like a safe space, I think. So yeah, the, just be yourself. Go on board and just be completely authentic to who you are and you will be loved for it. If you have any questions, um, about this topic. I'm more than happy to make more videos on it, but I didn't have any specific questions that needed answering. It was just a general like, is it okay to be openly part of the LGBTQ community on board? So my answer is yes, it will be fine. You will not be judged on it. If you would like me to try and do an interview with one of my friends who is gay, just you know, to ask him what his experience was like on board, being gay or lesbian, I could do either. If you want that, just put yes down below. Unfortunately, I don't know anyone who is trans on board. Hey, if you're watching this and you work on board cruise ships and you are trans, please get in touch with me. Let's do an interview because it is so okay for you to be part of the LGBTQ community, but for anyone who hasn't worked on cruise ships yet and is really stressing about this, don't worry, like you really don't need to stress, you will be fine. The company supports the LGBTQ community, you know, every cruise line supports it, as they should. 
so the crow support it and everywhere in the world you are going to get people who are not ultra comfortable with it but no one is vocal about it like if you're homophobic on board you'll get kicked off you can get fired so even if people aren't ultra comfortable with it they're not going to say anything so it really doesn't matter but yeah guys i hope you have enjoyed it and you found this video helpful and if you are part of the lgbtq community it has put your mind at ease i'm sorry it's so short but there really isn't that much to say other than you'll be absolutely fine so yeah i'll see you in the next video guys thank you for watching and i hope you have a really good rest of the day bye